In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate this HTML editor into your forms. So for example, uh, we can actually insert text here. So line one, line two, and if we come over to source code, you're going to see that it's writing the HTML for you. Uh, we can also use the editor to insert images. Um, we can use it to format our text. We can use it to insert forms and we can even create tables and do various other things using the HTML editor. So this is perfect for content management systems. This is a really powerful tool and I'm going to be showing you how to incorporate this into your forms, website applications in this tutorial. Now, one of the videos that we have uh, posted previously on our channel, and you can find it by visiting our channel or our website, is how to develop a content management system. Um, and what we've done here is basically I've created a very simple website template that we can uh, work with. And I've also just created a very simple insert and preview uh, server behavior. So I can enter a message here, click on post, and the most recent record in the database is going to be um, loaded and, and we can preview it here. Now a content management system as you would learn from the tutorial on our channel basically you'll basically insert uh, a new record into a database and you may edit or update or delete that record but what you'll do is you'll probably create a record set on the page and then you'll bind uh, a field from that to the area where you want um, want it to appear. So for example, um, in, in this example if I post a, a message here, so let's just say example 1 and post, it's going to preview here. It's loading the most recent record from the database or if it was a content management system, a specific field. So what is a HTML editor? Well it basically allows you to format that text in a very simplistic and easy way. So let me show you an example. If I said line one, and then I clicked, I entered return a few times and I entered line two. Now, before we post this in the text area, we can see that these are on different lines. We have line one and line two down here. Now, if I post this, you're gonna see that immediately it's just it's just showing that in a single line. It's not separated by the uh, spaces um, that we had previously when we actually inputted the text and that's because there's no HTML it's simply loading out what it has in the database and this is how it's um, pre-formatted so what we need to do is we need to insert some HTML um, so for example if I entered line 1 and then line 2 but after line 1 I'll enter some HTML I'll enter a line break um, and I click on upload you're gonna see that because of the HTML it's loading that on separate lines but what we all understand is that the normal uh, visitor to our website isn't going to insert HTML into this so for example if you had an article and a comment system underneath then this is what when it's going to present issues because it isn't going to appear the way we want it to on the page because one of two reasons the user probably doesn't know HTML and the other reason is they probably wouldn't want to spend time you know formatting the text with HTML either so how do we get around this in a really easy way well we incorporate a HTML editor and this is what I'm going to be talking about in this tutorial this is CK editor which is a free op a free open source um, HTML editor that you can use on your websites or applications and just to show you a demo of it although we'll be incorporating this into our um, our uh, template that I just showed you this is it so it basically if we come into the source code uh, which it will allow you to do as you can see it actually writes the HTML for you but it's sort of an application similar to Microsoft Word which pretty much anyone that comes along can use so this is the advantage of using a HTML editor um, so let's go ahead and get started if we return to uh, the home page what you'll see is uh, we can click on download and you have a few options you can select the basic standard or the full package um, and I'm not going to go into what the difference 
is you can also customize it um, based on your own uh, requirements but we're not going to be doing this because it's a little bit unnecessary what they actually let you do is um, just link to a hosted version of the script which is what I'm going to be doing in this example now I'm going to be incorporating the full package um, in this example and I'm going to show you how easy that it is to do the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this script and notice depending on the package you select this changes um, the reason that it's better to probably use this hosted version or as an alternative to the hosted version so you can either download the script or you can actually just use this hosted version where you don't actually host the script on your server it's hosted on a server and it's actually powered by Amazon well Amazon probably have a server that's closer to the user than uh, your website's file server so to be honest it will probably load faster if you used this hosted version but if you do want to make modifications or customize it um, or, or maybe just have the peace of mind in case something changed with this script in the future well go ahead and download it that might be the best option for you but I'm gonna show you this uh, method which is hosted so I'm gonna select the full package I'm gonna copy this line of code and then I'm gonna click on this which will take me to a very simple a very simple installation guide um, which we're going to return and use in a in a moment okay so I'm in Dreamweaver and just to show you this is the template which I was demonstrating previously um, you don't really have to do anything you can develop your script whether it's a comment system content management system or anything um, you can develop it without the HTML editor and just incorporate it afterwards if that's easier for you. So just to show you my code, all I have is a record set on the page which is um, enabling me to filter the table and display that I've binded it here. So the latest uh, post in the table is going to appear there. Um, and of course this is my text area and I've just got some insert server behavior uh, which is just PHP um, and the rest is all sort of CSS and, and standard HTML so the first thing I'm gonna do is just come over to my code view um, and basically I'm gonna look for my head tags which are here and what I'm gonna do is just after uh, before my um, and so what I'm gonna do is after my opening head tag I'm just gonna paste in the line of code that I took from the CK editor website which is basically gonna add the script I need now all I actually need to do is call the script now if I return to this uh, installation guide what I'll notice here is that it's got this script here which is all I need I'm gonna copy this and if I return to Dreamweaver I'm just gonna come down into my code view I'll come to my form and just after the form I'm gonna paste in the code which I took from the installation guide so this is just this is just some JavaScript um, and if you notice here the text area is name and its ID is text area so I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it here so this is basically calling the script um, and it's it's specifying the form element on the page which CK editor is going to be associated with. So let's save that and return to preview this in Explorer. Once this is loaded, you're going to see that the load the HTML editor is immediately going to load on the page. Now this is the full editor, and you can also customize this. But this is how easy it is to actually um, incorporate. The HTML editor into your your website applications so let's uh, demonstrate this once more I'm gonna write in line 1 line 2 line 3 and line 4 now if I come over to source code you're gonna see that it's actually writing in the uh, HTML I can even insert images um, I've got options to do all kinds of things, even create tables, um, 
and the the it, it is you, I, you know I can even create forms so it is an incredibly powerful tool so let's just see what happens if I uh, post this so I've posted it and you can see line 4 everything is formatted so I'm not having to write any extensive HTML it's just this simple thank you for following along with this video tutorial but I just like to take this opportunity to encourage you to visit our official website simpletut.com here we uh, release all of our new tutorials uh, and it's an easy way to find the content from us that you're looking for uh, we have uh, various various tutorials from building user registration systems to file upload scripts availability calendars how to get more likes on Facebook, PHP classes, how to develop an advanced website layout with CSS and uh, div tags, um, how to create CSS menus. Uh, but of course, if you are stuck at any point on this or any other of our tutorials, we have a ask a question area, which is completely free. And you can use this section of our site to ask questions and contact a member of our team who'd be more than happy to assist you. We also offer a range of freebies ranging from uh, an availability calendar to a file upload script, a content locker, uh, pricing tables, uh, various Photoshop files, and, and even a user registration system. And we also have a blog where we post uh, a, a lot of interesting uh, articles and also explain some of the code that we uh, write, or should I say use, in our tutorials. I'd also like to say that we are a free project and it is your support that enables us to keep going providing you new resources, materials and tutorials and of course support. Any donations that you would be generous to give will help us to continue with the work that we are doing and that you enjoy. If you are willing to make a donation then please visit our website simpletat.com and click on the donate uh, option on our menu and you'll be re redirected to PayPal where you can specify how much you'd like to donate. And of course, I'd also like to encourage you to visit our new project which is cssmenucreator.com. Again, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, and this website is, is one of our latest projects and enables you to create your own custom CSS menus online. All you have to do, and we have, as you can see here, a video showing you exactly how to use the site, but you can select a menu. So for example, if I select build menu here, you can literally build the menu online. You get a preview up here and it literally writes the code. And if you sign up to our site, you'll be able to access the CSS. So all you'll have to do is literally build your, your menu online using our uh, advanced software here. And literally then just copy and paste the code, unlock the CSS and copy it into your existing pages um, so it's literally the easiest way you could ever imagine to build your CSS menus. It's a huge time saver for uh, experienced webmasters or people that are new to the CSS and web development world. It's a time saver and a money saver. I'd also like to encourage you to visit our official Facebook page, which you can access either by a link in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube, or you could visit our website simpletut.com and access our Facebook page from there. There are links on the page. And here we, I'd like to encourage you to like our Facebook page because this will enable us to stay connected and update you when we release new tutorials, uh, various different resources, and even freebies. If you are looking for a web designer or perhaps a pre-built solution, then why not visit SiteEasy.com. This is where we offer a range of different products and services, including pre-built PHP applications, including user registration, CSS menu generator, uh, search, site search, digital goods for PayPal, comment systems, billing systems, and much more. We also offer pre-built websites, our pre-built websites include e-commerce, social networking, content management, file upload, property listings, and much more. And of course, if you'd like to get in touch with a member of our team for any issue, um, then please do so by visiting our website, clicking on the support option from the menu, and filling out this form. And you'll be able to contact us, and a member of our team will be more than happy to contact you to resolve any queries you may have. 
Once again, thank you very much for following along in this video tutorial. Have a great day.